In this new series of short films produced in partnership with Google, we look at some of the big ideas that have shaped contemporary art in recent decades and which continue to resonate with artists today. Race, ethnicity and visual culture are inextricably linked and contemporary visual art presents a rich site for artists to comment upon and attack racist imagery and attitudes in contemporary society. Many contemporary artists have drawn on their own racial identities to create ennobling depictions of historically marginalised individuals, to draw attention to the non-representation of non-white subjects in the history of Western art, and to critique stereotypes and racist caricatures. Likewise, many white artists have also drawn attention to racist systems and institutions, such as corporate and governmental structures. In the case of Modern Art Oxford, the gallery has shown very many artists whose work connects to the theme of race and ethnic identity, especially black and Asian identity, and the legacy of racist systems and histories. As early as 1978, German-born, New York-based artist Hans Hacker created a new body of work for Oxford called A Breed Apart that controversially exposed the links between the brutal, repressive apartheid regime and the local Oxford car manufacturer and employer, British Leyland. Since the 1960s, Hacker has produced controversial, unflinchingly political works that have exposed systems of power and influence, many of which have focused on unethical investment or the exploitative labour practices of multinational corporations, as well as power relations within the art world itself. In the case of this work, commissioned by the gallery, Hacker contrasts the brutal real world and the glamorised realm of advertising to draw out the double standards of British Leyland's involvement with South Africa's apartheid regime. Artists of colour within our programme, such as British artist, writer and curator Lubaina Himid, have been active since the 1980s to show the contribution black artists have made to the visual arts in the UK, while creating a powerful body of work over decades that looks at the legacies of slavery, the visual arts of the black diaspora and issues relating to black representation. American artist Kerry James Marshall, who showed at the gallery in 2006, minds black culture and stereotypes to create subjects who are, in his words, unequivocally, emphatically black, which he represents in ways that draw on the history of Western art. In a similar way, Nigerian artist Andrew Decker and Cornelie Crosby pays homage to the history of Western painting while also referencing African cultural traditions, depicting deeply personal imagery that transcends the specificity of individual experience and engages in a global dialogue about trenchant social and political issues. Ottobong Nkanga's work also explores notions of identity, the status of African women, and the cultural peculiarities of Nigeria, the country where she originates from, through sculpture and performance. Pakistani artist Imran Qureshi draws on the Mughal heritage of miniature painting, with its emphasis on draftsmanship and the delicate repetition of decorative motifs and layers of colour, redefining this tradition in contemporary terms. Whereas British artist Hardeep Pandal makes works that are both satirical and transgressive in order to question perceptions of British Asian identity via his personal reflections on modern British history and popular culture. He does this by drawing on conflicting experiences of others and his own biography to create fictionalised characters and narratives realised in drawings and collage, spoof documentaries and handmade garments made with the help of his mum. Artists today continue to explore the increasingly complex territory of race and ethnic identity, looking at racism and the construction of identity, which continues, tragically, to be powerful forces characterising contemporary society in the second decade of the 21st century. For more information on previous exhibitions mentioned earlier relating to this theme at Modern Art Oxford, please visit our website where you'll also find links to other artists whose work can be related to race and identity.